going on everybody? This is Dave Scott here and right now I have a new microphone! That's right guys, you are hearing completely awesome audio, at least I hope that is because I just got back from Walmart and I picked myself up a brand new microphone. It's actually a uh, wireless headset with a built-in microphone due to my jack being broken. The only jack I have on my computer decided to die on me. But anyways, I hope that it's good. If you hear any audio cuts here and there, uh, it's just Bandicam and Bandicam only. I've been trying to test that out as much as I can. Uh, trying to talk really fast to see if it skips. It's been doing pretty good, so the last few attempts were good. So I, um, I toned down my FPS, and I, uh, I toned up the bitrate on my audio, so hopefully that helps. But anyways, guys, we're back here with the next episode of New Japan Pro Wrestling. It is anniversary. That's right, guys. I got to this this morning. And, but I had some stuff going on, uh, family member bought a new car today, so I had to do some, uh, stuff with that, so I was busy all day doing that, I'm recording this at 6.18 right now in the evening, so it's kind of like relaxing time, downtime, just, you know, I figured it'd be a good time to, uh, record, so, check out our attendance levels today, what was the last, I'm pretty sure our last pay-per-view was held in Kanto, yes it was, in the Tokyo Dome, and so, I'm going to say, JP Sendai Gymnasium. Where is that? Which has like, 18,000 people in it. 7,000 people. Really? Really? You're going to do that to me? I don't think so, game. We're going at least 30,000. Okay, maybe we're not. <laughs> um... Uh, Fukuko Dome or whatever. That seems to be good. That'd be okay. Um, there we go. Kinky. That's where we're gonna hold it tonight. Kinky Japan. So, okay, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, we made some talent trades last episode to get some TNA guys. So this is our main event. 30 minute long main event, or not 30, like 27 or something. 27 for the IWGP he uh, Heavyweight Championship. This is where I finally win the belt. Open, colon ring, slow build, decisive. There we go. And Hiroshi's being a baby because I made myself win, but whatever, we can uh, we can fix that. And Kazuchika, yeah, he's a bit unhappy too. So this match is probably, since I'm picking the wrong winner, everybody else is mad, so it's not, not going to do that good, but you know, we're just going to hope for good rating. And I accidentally opened up Word. I did not mean to do that. I'm just going to wait till it comes up so I can close it. Okay. Get out of here, word. Alright, I'm going to wait for word to close itself. There we go. All good now. Alright, so that's our main event. 30 minute long. Alright, our semi-main I'm going to have be Kurt Angle versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Go for... I'll go for 22! 22 minutes long. Shout out to my favorite Minecrafters of all time. Well, at least one of my favorite Minecrafters. Alright, um... Shinke to get the win in a decisive contest open. I'm going to make sure that Kurt Angle is... I'm going to make sure that's for the title also. Make sure that Kurt is a face. Because uh, we don't want to do heel v heel. There we go. Okay. So, can Kurt speak Japanese? I'd love it if he could. Kurt Angle, because he's a star on the mic. We would love to have that. So, personal. No, he does not. That sucks. <laughs> and he's going to get penalized for being all that. So, that's probably not going to do too good. That's why we're not going to have him win. But is our arena, do, do we speak uh, English too? JP Usaka. No, we don't. Well, that sucks. <laughs> um, I wonder if... Nah, I'm not going to take that chance. I'm just going to do an entrance for Hiroshi Tanahashi, because that got us a A-star last time, and we want to keep that up. So Hiroshi Tanahashi making his big defense in a triple threat match. I'm going to make that go for seven minutes. A seven minute long entrance, the longest entrance of all time. Here we go, let me see how long he's held the title for. He's held it since October, and it is now February, so he can drop it. Good rain, but, you know, it's my time. So, I'm going to do a post-match title win. And... Yeah, and that's, uh, that's a retain, Dave. You might want to uh, do that. 
So there we go. That's what I want to do. Dave Scott, April. And a, let's just make that eight minutes long. All right, matches time. So AJ Styles versus Alberto El Patron in a 20-minute match. I'm going to give Alberto El Patron the win because I'm hoping to actually sign him. Actually, no. Nah, Styles is going to win the cup, so he needs this win. Unless he's unhappy. Okay, if he was unhappy, I was going to change it. But, you know, if he's not, that's fine with me. So, yeah, guys, I am so happy to have this headset. I know that you all were putting up with my terrible audio, and I thank you all so much for that. Um, But, yeah, it was terrible audio. So, I've done, like, uh, 50 million tests with this. And uh, we should be good now. Should be good. And it's going to be, you know, so nice. And plus on that, today has been an absolute great day. Guys, I'll tell you why. Is because, first off, I got a haircut. I got just about all my head shaven off, which is really nice. I, um, I hate having long hair. And my hair grows so quick, too. Um, I'm going to have Davey go over. My hair grows so quick, too, and it's, um, it's very annoying. So, I'm going to have that start off. And so, yeah, I got a haircut, and then I went to, um, I went to the Volkswagen dealership where a family member of mine bought a new, um, Jetta, uh, smoky gray color. It was really nice. Oh, there we go. KES winning the World Tag Team titles. Um, yeah, it was a super nice car. I got to drive that. Went to Walmart, picked up this, and, um, I fixed my watch. Yeah, it was, um, my watch broke, so I had to get that fixed, which was a pain, but, you know, what of it? So, uh, you know, that was that was kind of a pain, but um, got it done, and it's all good now, which is, you know, the most important thing. So, Yoshi Tattoo is going to become our new um, light heavyweight champion in an eight-minute uh, junior heavyweight. Why do I keep saying lightweight? I do not know why. Ryosuk is probably gone. I'm probably never going to do anything with him again, but, you know. Do I care? Probably not. All right. So that's going to go there. TNA Invasion Anniversary, whatever. Young Bucks and Red Dragon. Finally going to give the Bucks the title, something I should have done a while ago. Alright, tag team. Oh, I feel a burp coming, but I don't want to burp. I'm sorry, guys. Please forgive me. Not Colin Ray. This match probably ain't going to do too good because we got Enhancement Talons on the other side. Oh, sorry. Um, Where is it? Super Junior Tag Team? No. We don't have the, um... We don't have another tag team? What's, what do Colin... Uh... Are you kidding me? They they held titles. Alright, what's going on here? <laughs> Something's fishy. I know that Red Dragon held titles. I know that... Did I retire it by accident? Look at that. I did. I'm such an idiot. Alright. Um, <laughs> oh, I can't believe myself sometimes. Ah, oh, Kel O'Reilly. Bobby Fish. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Continue the rain. Alright. Whoopsies. <laughs> that was a blunder on my part. I didn't mean that, guys. I'm sorry. Alright, 14 minutes for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team. <laughs> Giving Matt the win. Decisive open. Alright, there we go. So, alright, so we have kind of like the mid-card for the, um, except for Minoru, in the uh, first half. And then once we get to KES versus Tinkozi, we're going to the main event squad. So, I really like this pay-per-view, I should be honest with you guys. Um... I probably should do something with the Bullet Club. Uh, you know what? We're gonna just gonna have a big five on five, cause you know, YOLO it. It's anniversary. It's the time when NJPW came around. So dang going, I'm gonna do something about it. So the leader of the club is wrestling. So we have the Bullet Club, Yujiro, not Yuji, Yujiro, Kenny. And Jeff versus Shane Haste, 
Mikey Nicholas, a big face team. Um, anybody we haven't used? Um, Goku, Goto, and Katsuyori Shibata. There we go. I can do that. And Yuji Nagata. There we go. Bam. That match should actually be pretty good, considering I don't know half of the people, but you know, still. <laughs> I'm going to go 16 minutes here, and I'm going to give Kenny Omega the win. And decisive, open, slow build belt. Somebody's going to be mad. Alright, well, whatever. So there we go. That is actually going to, yeah, I'm, I'm going to open the show up with that. Have a little 1v1, then 2v2, 1v1, 2v2, 2v2, then 1s, and then triple threat to end. All right, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Anything for the pre-show? We have a lot of... Battle Royal time. It is time for Battle Royal. We have so many guys that have not been used. All right. But yeah, guys, just uh, wanted to let you know um, that everything's good. I hope my audio is doing good. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, uh, if you do, be sure to smack that like button. Show me some support. I always appreciate it. All right, so who's going to win? I'm thinking, I'm thinking Naito. Ricochet, thank you to whoever told me that his name was pronounced as Ricochet. Uh, I appreciate you. I appreciate you a lot for that. All right, uh, there we go. Here we go. Just put everybody in here. And then... Drew Galloway and Rob Conway. Desperate? You don't get in, because you're desperate. 20 minutes on the pre-show, and I'm going to give the win to... Who'd I say? Tetsuya Naito, that's right. Okay. And the runner-up, I'm going to have be Ricochet. Uh, we don't have Iron Man in this for some reason, which is weird. Most eliminations, I'm going to give to Bad Luck Fale. Finalist, I'm going to have Bad Luck Fale because you got to keep the Bullet Club strong. Finalist, Kota Ibushi. Right, there we go, that's fine. Alright, who have we not used now? Still a lot of people. Alright, who do I want to... Um, Captain New Japan uh, put on a really good match against... Actually, you know what? Uh, Yoshihashi over Captain New Japan. Because he put on a really good match against Kaz the other night. Yoshihashi against Captain New Japan. And then some kind of tag team match, and I think we'll be ready. Alright, um... I'm sorry. I, ca I can't give the one to Yoshiashi. I, lo I love Captain New Japan too much. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. And I don't know... I've never tried out Work the Crowd on pre-show. Um, I mean on Battle Royals. So, you know what? I'm gonna go... I opened the word again! What is wrong with me? <laughs> Keep misclicking. I'm going to go ahead and try that on Battle Royal, test, uh, test it out on stuff. Let me go ahead and kill this. Did I just open it again? Seriously? Seriously? I'm sorry, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me in all my stupidity. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be that way. Alright, let's go ahead and close this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Waiting. All right, finally we're back. Okay, so and then tag team match. Any tag team that we haven't used, I'm gonna put on the pre-show. Hey, let's see here. All right, so what teams have we not? Okay, then. So uh, let's see who have we not have used. Um, just anybody, everyone. All right, so let's take a look at faces. We have. Super Strong Machine. Is there anybody else that's masked? Yes, Bushi and Super Strong Machine, the mass team, versus um, Jito and Tamatonga. Why not? The Japanese rocker dude is going to get left off, and I just didn't save that. <laughs> All right, Bushi. No, not not that side. Gotta go like original. Bushi and Super Strong Machine. Versus Jito and Tamatanga. There we go. It's all good, guys. Don't worry. I've got it under control. 
All right, six minutes. Uh, super strong machine. Open, open, all out. Work the crowd decisive. All right, Tomatonga put on a really bad match, so I'm kind of hesitant in using him. But you know what? Yolo, guys, this is NJPW anniversary. I hope you um. I messed that up so bad. I hope that you have enjoyed watching the booking for this, and I'm going to run the show now. We are going to be in the Kinky region in front of a number of people. I can't remember uh, how much, but I think this car looks really good. I'd, um, I'm really excited for it. i got some pretty good stuff in. Crit Angle versus Shinsuke, I hope, uh, is going to be good. Uh, Styles and Patron, I expect to be maybe match of the night. And the Triple Threat main event should be good. So, guys, without further ado, let's get right into the show. So, this are this these are the results from NJPW. Wait, did I say that right? These are the results from NJPW Anniversary being held by New Japan Pro Wrestling in front of 36,650 people at the JP Osaka Dome, and it's live on pay-per-view. And then to start us off on the pre-show about the feature, we got action not much in the way he Tetsuya Naito won a battle royal in 1946. The other members of the final four were Ricochet, Kota Ibushi, and Bad Luck Fale, with Ricochet being the final elimination. Bad luck fall, I got the most eliminations over the course of the match. So there we go. Alright, so, uh, wow, that is a lot. Not playing the crowd well, not playing the crowd. Okay, so it's a bad idea. I mean, so, most of them played the crowd, but some of them didn't. So I guess it doesn't really matter, just gotta use certain workers and all that. Alex Khan is all performing on performance skills, and Tomohiro Ishii performing on performance skills as well. Tiger Mask was off his game, because, you know, uh, Tiger Mask is not good at all. Stuff so was great action, not much of the way he, that's pretty good. Tomatonga, man. Tomatonga. And about that, it's all in reaction, but non existent karate. Bushi and Super Strong Machine defeated Jito and Tomatonga when Super Strong Machine defeated Tomatonga by pitfall with a devil windmill suplex. Super Strong Machine seemed off his game, no improvements. That was not a very good match. Uh, they engaged the crowd at least. And who? Who was that? Tomatonga. Can't go out in six minutes. Man, and then, excuse me, wow, really? I went eight minutes, and that was too long. Anyways, it's about to fe feature good action, had some good action, not as a crowd, he captured New Japan to feed Yoshihashi in 752 by pinfall with a fast roll-up. Yeah, booking decisions, I know, I gave the enhancement talent the win, so what? It's the first time I've ever given an enhancement talent the win. So, we're going to start off the show, and about the feature great actor in my homage in the way he the Bullet Club, Doc Gallows, Carl Anderson, Yujiro Takahashi, Kenny Omega, and Jeff Jarrett, defeated Yuji Nagata, TMDK, and Gota and Shibata in 1553, and Kenny Omega defeated... Kenny Omega? Kenny Omega defeated Katsuyori Shibata by pinfall with Ayo Shoudel. Mikey Nicholas was off his game. Carl Anderson improving in rumble skills, Kenny Omega performing in performance skills, Yujiro Takahashi performing in performance skills, and Shane Hayes performing in performance skills as well. So many P's. Gonna be all weird on the mic. B-minus, not the greatest opener, but you know what, I'll take it. Then we move on to another B-minus, that's pretty good from Minoru. Get out of here, Farmville. And about the future grand action, not much in the way he eat. Minoru Suzuki defeated Abyss in 1207 by pinfall, uh, by submission with Asaka Otoshi. Abyss performing in performance skills, cool to see. Well booked match, that's awesome. B-minus, not too bad, it was well worth it. For these guys, at least. Another B-minus about the future great action, non is a crowd heat. Davy Richards and Andy Edwards defeated the Time Splitters in 11:31 by when Davy Richards defeated Kushida by pinfall with a driver, with a DR driver two. Alex Shelley improving in Rumble skills. That's pretty good. Not too bad for these guys who are lower guys. And a C-minus. Raisu Taguchi is fired after this. I don't care. In a match that featured good action, not much in the way he... Yoshi Tatsu defeated Raisu Taguchi in 808 by pinfall with a roundhouse kick and wins the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. Yoshi Tatsu performing a performance skills well book match. Odd face and heel. They were probably both faces, but you know what? He's gone anyway, so, you know. B. Nice. Nice. About the feature great action, not much in the way he... um. Non-existent crowd heat. The Young Bucks defeated the Red Dragon in 1344 when Matt Jackson defeated Kyle O'Reilly by pinfall with a more bang for your buck. The Young Bucks win the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team titles. Nick Jackson was off his game. The Jacksons have great chemistry. Same with Red Dragon and the Bullet Storyline is advanced. Bobby Fish improving in flying skills. Cool to see. And it was... Oh, that's right. They're both heels. I'm not taking into uh, consideration this stuff. i got to pay more attention. Another B, that's okay. These guys are top guys, so I was hoping for a little little bit, but they didn't want to sell. But anyways, about the feature, great action, good crowd. Killer Elite Squad defeated Tenkozy 
In 2012, when uh, Davy Boy Smith Jr. defeated Satoshi Kojima by pinfall with Killer Bomb, KES won the IWGP Tag Team titles. KES chemistry and Tinkozi chemistry on display. Lack of psychology and selling. I'd probably call that in ring. No, it's scripted, actually. If I had less scripted off, maybe we could have uh, gotten something more out of that. But anyways, that's okay. Not too bad. B, okay. Good, good chemistry. Kind of hoping for a B plus, but whatever. About the future, great action, good crowd. AJ Styles defeated Alberto El Patron in 2005 by p submission with a calf killer. AJ Styles performing in performance skills. Well booked match. Cool. Poor announcing. What? We have JR. How is that poor announcing? Let's go to Lenny Leonard. B plus, there we go, that's good. That's what I'm talking about. About the feature, great action, great heat from the audience. Shinke Nakamura defeated Kurt Angle in 2151 by pinfall with the bomb. Yee, Shinsuke Nakamura defeated, um, I mean, makes defense number four of the IWGP Intercontinental Championship. That's good. Then we move on to an A star, just like always. Hiroshi Tanahashi makes an entrance. And our main event, please do a B plus. B plus, there we go. Cool. In a support belt that had great wrestling in a sizzling crowd, Dave Scott defeated Hiroshi Tanahashi and Kazuchika Okada. Excuse me, in 27-14, when I defeated Kazuchika Okada by pinfall, and I win the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. It had to be done, I'm sorry. And the game doesn't want me <laughs> winning myself. So a rating grasping his newly won title. Dave Scott is joined by it's uh, inside the ring by April, the, the close... Not friends, but you know, you guys know what I mean. Embracing the ring, and I am your new IWGP Heavyweight Champion. And it, oh, nice. Okay, all right, I'm liking it. A B plus rating, finally increasing our popularity. Hadn't done that in forever. I used Kyle O'Reilly far too much on the show. Did I use him twice? Only thing I used him was for was the Dagum title match. He's probably enhancement talent, and they don't want him on the main card, but whatever. Okay, I gotta praise Kurt and Shinke. They did really good. Uh, Shinke and Akamura. Praise. Who else can I praise? Um, Hiroshi with that entrance, though. That was good. So make that speech. K Angle was pleased. Nakamura was pleased. Tanahashi was pleased. The speech has been given. Definitely bringing Kurt Angle back. Um, Raisuka's fired, pretty much. I'm going to have to take a look at Lenny Leonard and uh, JR as announcers, because apparently they weren't very good. So yeah, successful pay-per-view. We finally increased our popularity. That's the first popularity increase of the series, which is really cool to see. But um, we're going up against TNA one night only, apparently. So um, yeah, that's cool. Guys, I will see you all. At the main title screen. Oh, say can you see that we made the top headline again? Woo! Alright. 2.83 by rate. That's pretty good for what I understand. <laughs> what a successful pay-per-view. I'm really happy with that. Uh, let's check TNA. One night only. So we had Bobby Roode and Eric Young in the main event. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, Terrell defeated Brittany, Mags defeated Bram, EC3 defeated Spud, Storm and MVP, <coughs> Kim and Rain, Homicide and Nux. I'd actually like that pay-per-view. That's actually pretty good. I'd watch that. Alright. Iron Man, Hiroshi Tenzin. Tenzin. Alright, we really need to give him a break. After that loss, he needs, uh, he needs, um... He needs a break. What am I saying? Alright. That's not what our guys is. Okay, no, it's not. Jesus, he had a ripped ACL. He's out for... Ooh, man, 11 months. Bad news bears for him. Alright. Let's check here. Alberto Patron is gone from us. Abyss is gone. Kurt Angle's gone. Davey's gone. Eddie's gone. Ketsy, you... Oh, wait, no. So, um... Yeah, that sucks. A buy rate of 2.03. Let's check and see... So it's, it's down, but you know it's okay. So, people are complaining are Alex Kozlov, Rocky Romero, Satoshi Kojima, Abyss, Hiroshi Tenzan, Kalorelli. Okay, I'm definitely giving Hiroshi Tenzan um, a break because I know that he's, uh, he's really bad. Yeah, he's our uh, worst one, Kalorelli, also. Uh, so you're going to get a week off, Hiroshi, because you've been doing good. You've been doing good, I will admit. You've done some good matches, so.
<sighs> really, 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 really. Alright, I'm ending my NWA thing. Because I want him under a written. Wrestling line. Let me just check. I don't even think they're very big. No, they're a regional company. Why would we want talent trains with you? We're so much bigger than you. Alright. Um, uh, goodbye. Okay. Alright, let's so have a storyline roundup real quick. Intercontinental. Yeah. I'm going to end that. Um, okay. So, yeah. Let's take a look at creative meeting. Step number two. That's good. I'm on the list. That's a good list. I'm liking that. And two more people have joined Drew Galloway. So, he has friends now. Guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, be sure to smack that like button and comment down below and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. As we just recently broke 200 subs and I am so thankful for that. You guys don't even know how happy that makes me. It just shows that you want more. And um, I, I want to thank you guys so much. And uh, thumbs up this video for the new headset, the better audio. I hope it didn't have too many skips in it. If it did, I'm going to be salty to the moon. But you know what? Thank you all so much for all your support through, you know... The good microphone and the bad microphone, whatever, I just, it's awesome that you guys kept tuning in, I appreciate it so much, and, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and with that being said, keep subscribed up there and comment down below, and I will see you next time, guys.